And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our first seasonal tournament practice day. Today, we're going to be playing Tarek Draven, playing a lot of practice with this. As you all know, uh, if you watch it on like Rank Up Sunday for the seasonal tournament, which is going to be this upcoming Sunday, my plans are to play um, Tarek Draven, Poros Give It All, and Midrange Frostbite. I think those are going to be my three decks. Um, and so we're going to start with Tarek Draven here for our first practice day. So what we're going to do is, um, today is streaming, this is gonna, this is Thursday, and we're going to be just playing all Tarek Draven today. We'll play 20 games, we'll break it up into four different videos. For those of y'all on YouTube, like normal, we'll have four videos of f five games each. And we're just going to play 20 games here with this deck, so we really get a good feel for it. Um, ready to play it on Sunday. Light Ace with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much there, Light Ace. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for that support, Light Ace. I really appreciate that. Um, so there we go. First sub of the day. I guess I already had that kind of written down. Um, and so then, so that's Thursday. Then tomorrow we'll have a full day of Poros Give It All. And that's Friday. And then Saturday we'll have a full day of Midrange Frostbite. And then hopefully be ready for the seasonal tournament on Sunday. That's the plan. Now we have to make sure that we don't do too bad because uh, we, we had kind of a little bit of a rough day on uh, two days ago whenever we ended the stream. Uh, lost a little bit. So we're actually all the way down to 481. We got to be in the top 700, but I'm pretty confident in these decks. I think we'll be able to increase our rank and we'll, we'll be able to stay in the top 700. So I'm not too worried about that. All right, but first, Tarek Draven. So that's just kind of an overview of what, what we're going to have going on the next couple of days. Hopefully you all enjoy um, this uh, practice. Of course, it's just going to be, you know, we're going to be playing our games in ranked. We're going to get, uh, really get used to our deck. I'm changing one thing. We had a seventh three drop with a Crescent Guardian whenever we played this deck on Sunday. And I think instead I want the seventh one drop. I'm going to be playing one Legion Saboteur in here just to get that seventh one drop because with this deck i think that having a one drop is very important and then turn two whether you have a two drop or you you hold up two mana for a pale cascade and transfusion sometimes you do that but i think you definitely want a one um you know you either play two or bank the two spell mana and then you definitely want a three with like draven or iron ballista um crescent guardian so crescent guardian is not really even the best three to play on turn three you know it's it's the worst one so i think that's okay to go ahead and get rid of that one and then, you know, then you want to curve out with Tarek and, and uh, Kato the Arm after that. Um, yes, Tarek Draven and Midrange Frostbite are both Noxus, but that's okay. You can play decks of the same region as long as they don't have the same champion. Okay, so let's get started. Yep, Carter, I'm going to be playing this weekend. Unless we... <laughs> unless some things go horribly wrong, I guess. Unless we, like, lose a whole bunch this weekend. Okay, so the the spider dies to go hard, but I think I still play it. I don't think I just mulligan the spider just because it dies to go hard. I do like... See, I could have played the soldier here for, for three, but I do like how it's fearsome. Okay. Because they, they play a lot of like little small blockers. And I really like the fearsome aspect of that card. Hey, you're a big fan of the Go Hard deck? Yeah, it's, it's a good one. For sure. If they have twist, if this is setting up Twisted Fate, we're probably dead. Gotta go with the blow. Okay, good. It's not Twisted Fate. That's good. I like some time. We could use a bite. So we know they have another go hard. 
sure about that? The guilty will burn. So the Gohard will kill my Iron Blista. But it's not like like if I have the Iron Blista block the 1-1, one, one, it still kills it anyway. Don't have the mana. Ooh. I would normally want to play Kato, but this is a, a pretty decent open attack. I'm just gonna pull I'm gonna go ahead and pull this powder keg in front of the overwhelm iron ballista. Why are you here? All right, so they're down to five. I pull the strings. It is me! We do know that they have, yeah, like they're gonna be draining and getting, uh, their nexus is gonna be healed. Cause, like we do know that they have a Gohard. Well, actually I wasn't really paying that close attention. Maybe, maybe they didn't grab Gohard. Maybe they grabbed Glimpse Beyond with the spray fin. That's something that, you know, during during the tournament, definitely going to be playing much better, closer attention to, um, you know, like whenever Sprayfin pulls a card, like what that card, you know, is and, and stuff like that. I'll show him pain. I don't think it's worth Pale Cascade here. I'm not blocking with Kato. I could, you know, block with like a Solari Soldier Pale Cascade. I guess the good thing about this is like we could if we draw a card that costs three or less, we can replace it. No, Derek. No miss. Oh, I don't have one more mana. All right. Well, I'm pretty sure I'm just playing Derek before combat. Ten mana. Um, not a, not enough for everything. Too short. Um, because open attack. I mean, because they can have vengeance, right? Like, so if I if I go open attack, they go vengeance. Like, basically, if they have vengeance, they stay alive. I bring Tarek just attacks for so much more damage. It's it's just you know another six overwhelm. So like, if they already like need vengeance and they don't have like mana to to stop another six overwhelm. Okay, there's the vengeance. To protect all. Who's gonna get in my way? It's eleven overwhelm. It's twelve overwhelm. Unyielding. That should be good. Because the extra two from the precious pet. Yep, that'll be game. That'll be game. And GG's. These gems aren't just for show. All right, feel the rush. Okay, back to us. I I'm gonna just mulligan all these. I like Might and I like Kato, but we're just gonna see. You know, we're just gonna try to curve out a little bit more. Yes. All right, our second sub of the day. Awesome. Punish transgressions.
considering blocking. You know, if they have the um, troll chant, it's kind of like when when do we want to deal with troll chant? That was pretty fortunate for them drawing uh, the one mana 5-5 five, five immediately. And being able to play that this turn, that was pretty fortunate for them. Patience. And we got another brand new Twitch Prime sub, Giro. Y'all get some hype in the chat. A lot of people already are. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Giro. So yeah, they can't... Okay, so they could Ruination next turn. Man, it's, again, immediately the very first card in Rage Yeti. They're getting some luck. Who gets tossed? <laughs> yeah, they're getting some luck. On the trail. No mercy for heretics. My plan here is to have Draven and then like Might and, and Whirling Death. I really hope they don't have Vengeance, you know, or basically, you know, basically any removal, Frostbite, you know, any removal at all. What a wonderful hand for them so far with blockers. Like if they have all that and then they have it backed up with, you know, like a, a Ruination or a Vengeance or anything. Let's see, we're at three. Yeah, so. Shatter that. Axes coming right up. Never submit. I give you muscle. So we're not, they're not gonna have the, the you know the, the good bonus from the Tarek of the can't take damage or die. Couldn't really set that up, but so this is twenty one overwhelm right now. As long as they don't have Troll chant, okay. That one's... Yeah, that one's fine. Let's see, so this puts them down to nine. Oh, was I thinking... Oh, yeah, I wasn't gonna have... Oh, I can't Whirling Death. Oh, I was... I don't know why I was thinking I could Whirling Death also. Yeah, I can't Whirling Death. Oh, well... Why was I thinking I could Whirling Death? Well, you hoping they'll die of boredom? Not really. Because Draven cost three, might cost three. <laughs> That's my six. I don't know why. I wasn't really counting the the uh, um the might. Whenever I was thinking in my head, I was just thinking like, all right, play Draven for three, and then he'll have Whirling Death for the other three. But kind of forgot about might costing mana. So I have to block Trundle. So who do I want to block Trundle? Yeah, I could, that's what I was thinking. I could go Draven, double X, Whirling, but I'm yeah, not really keeping Draven alive. I think I'd rather just chump block and do... I think I'd rather have the Whirling Death for attacking. I think it's my best chance of winning this is going Captain Farron with Whirling Death. It's always cold in the Freljord. You're in my kingdom now. This works. Hopefully, no vengeance. 
That just keeps him alive at one. And there we go. Another spinning X. Wow, what a game. Damn, I'm good. What a game. Okay, this is gonna be a tough one. I always think that Anivia deck, hey, what's up, gamer? I always think the Anivia deck's difficult to defeat. I want to play the soldier so that Vile Feast doesn't just kill kill my precious pet immediately. Ah, uh, that's definitely the card I didn't want them to have was Avros and Sentry. Avros and Sentry is pretty awesome. So we, we trade two drops, they get to draw a card, we generate a gem. It's a win for them, but. Yeah, they that's a vile feast. Um, you know, we get to gem and reheal now. I mean I can't do anything about Avalanche. These old eyes still see far and clear. Another century. No mercy for heretics. That's that's pretty great. They had two of like the best guard to have. Beauty and life. All right, I'm glad I saved the one mana for the gem instead of playing the precious pet. <laughs> Leave your bags at the door. Dazzling. Never submit. So they should block the. Oh, they're not going to block the mountain go. I was going to say they should block the mountain go and trade, but I guess not. Interesting. Okay, they did have Avalanche. What time is it? And there was the Vile Feast from earlier. What will you have? Pulling Strike into Glimpse Beyond definitely feels bad. I really want to draw Captain Farron. Man, their hands their hands been very good. If, you know, they just follow this up with like a Nivea now. Yeah, that's something ancient. Very good hands. Basically garbage. Well, that's too bad. Come on, Captain Farron. Captain Farron. Nope. So basically, I'm worried about like a withering whale playing all of these. Mm. So that's going to do two damage now. I wanted to play that, you know, to be able to enable the Pale Cascade, but now that's going to do two damage because of the because of that catalyst. Then that comes back. Yeah, this one's over. Man, awesome hand. GG's. Alright, playing some fearsome. Let's 
see how we do against Fearsome. All right, no one drop, but I mean, I think that's Mountain Go, Iron Blister. Those are both decent cards against Fearsome. They can both block and attack. We're just going to be a little... There we go. Uh, we'll be a little, little spell heavy to start with, it looks like. Kind of the problem with playing Iron, Iron Blister to start with is that I won't have any spell to back it up. But I think that's better than having, you know, it's, it's basically either do I want Precious Pet Pale Cascade or Ballista with nothing. I'm not planning on using a gem on it. Yeah, do I even trade there? Do I? I don't think so. That's a win for them, you know, with, with that card I wish I would have played. Precious pet. Too bad though. We just got through a Wraith Caller and we're up a card. So not too bad. I'm ready to shine. Tarek's always a welcome sight. Shatter that. Never submit. Try to get this level up going. Get it to three out of seven. Hopefully that's it for Wraith Callers. So 14, I like my chances. no vengeance or anything like that next turn. They, you know, like, they could have atrocity, which, is this, which would be the same thing. Let's see, so we're at three. We need four, five, six. Yeah, I don't, I just, I don't, I don't think I'm going to be able to get the can't, can't take damage or die part. Alright, well, I guess I gotta block. I didn't want to block. I guess I have to. No further. Alright, so yeah, hopefully no atrocity, no vengeance. I'm gonna be trying to kill them next turn. I guess I should probably do the math. So we're at 4, uh, 7, 10, 12... Lost in 13, reflection. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Yeah, so they're they're gonna be dead next turn. Like if they don't have any fast spells, they're they're dead next turn. Oh, even more dead. Okay. Uh, this could, I guess this could help. So three, four, five. Uh, 
Six. Seven. To preserve beauty and protect all life. All right, so Vengeance doesn't save them, so it's basically Atrocity. If they have Atrocity, I lose. If not, they lose. Because I, I want to I wanna use the, the Transfusion right away to level... I have to use it right away to level up the Taric so that they get the can't take damage or die so that we, we uh, can't... so that Vengeance doesn't save them. So I needed the two targets for the Transfusion first. Well, the one I mean, I I needed I needed literally two targets. The one mana spell is one target, so that's why the transfusion was necessary. I needed the two targets to level it up. This is rather dull. And yeah, like we can we can play this after after they block. They want to block, but they can't even they can't stay alive. All right, there we go, three and one. Tarek being awesome. Beautiful. A good amount of stuff like that. I I don't like. There is that kind of popular version with Draven Darius and with the uh, um, the decisive maneuver. I I never been impressed with that deck. Always thought that the decks I've been playing have been better. Uh, let's see. Those two are definite mulligans. Hecarim Elise. It's another fearsome deck. Don't have anything on turn one, turn two, but, you know, Pill Cascade is just a great card. Right. I'm going to mulligan it, though. Okay, drawn pretty well. We could use a bite. That doesn't scare me. Wonder if, wonder if I should block over here. Yeah, let's go and do it. You dare. Wow, nothing. Wasn't expecting a pass that turn. Ours is the one true light. That makes sense. Axes coming right up. Victory at any cost. So we're keeping our spells available. We can let that happen. Then I'm gonna play Kato this turn, and then next turn we will have seven mana. So perfect amount of mana for Might, Transfusion, and Pale Cascade all together. And so should be going in for the kill. Alright, so I feel like I have to play like a spinning axe here, because the problem is is right now they can just take the damage and go to one. I don't want them to be able to do that, you know, because if I just pass then I may not get priority again. I want to, you know, make it so like they have to block and do other things and give me a priority. 
All right, so this puts them down to eight. How do I want to do this? We want to uh, might. I hope they don't have vengeance. Five. Well, that still puts them down to two. That's lame. Okay. GG's. No vengeance. All me. And maybe those other guys. Whatever. Okay, so there we go. There's there's our start. Nice 4-1 there with Tarek Draven. And the deck's looking good. You know, like it's it doesn't mess around. And um, just curve out, pump spells. Um, it's nice and efficient. The games are really close, as we've seen here. Um, you know, like we're playing against good, good decks and we're going to have close games. So that's our first practice. You know, we're going to be playing 20 games with the deck today to, you know, get a feel for it and, um, you know, just kind of get used to the play patterns and everything like that and, and uh, keep learning. And, um, you know, I'm writing down each opponent and, um, you know, our the decks that we're playing against are win-losses to just to kind of keep track to kind of... Um, see whenever because uh, during the seasonal tournament we're gonna have to pick a deck to ban each round right like our opponent's gonna have three decks we're gonna pick a deck to ban and so i'll kind of just kind of see like what what kind of decks i've been struggling with more than others and things like that as far as uh what to ban so just our one loss was that anivia control they had the double avaros and century that really hurt and and uh curved out well with um, you know a couple of vile feasts Got him some good blockers, then into Anivia, into Rekindler. Um, you know, they had, they had a very good hand. So that was our loss. Um, and I think that, that that's probably going to be a, a tough matchup for this Tarek Draven deck in general. With the other the other ones, you know, like we played, all the other ones we played against are basically other aggro decks, you know, like Fearsome. And I guess the Gohard's not really, Gohard and Yetis aren't really um, aggro. But, like, those Fearsomes are just kind of a race. And, you know, sometimes we'll lose, but other times like this we'll win. I, I like my chances at least. All right. Um, but anyway, that's it here for Tarek Draven uh, for our first part of our seasonal tournament practice. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button. Leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck, um, the lineup that we, we got going on, um, anything else, like what, what you're playing, what you're excited about, anything else. I love seeing those comments. All right. But thank you so much for watching some Tarek Draven, and I'll see you for the next video.